Hello and welcome to the screencast where we are going to talk about text editors and code playgrounds. Now by far, one of the most important tools uh, for a programmer to learn how to use is the ed text editor, right? So you want to be familiar with your text editor. Uh, when I got started, I, I tried several different text editors and then as time went on, I you know, I, I chose one that I really, really liked and I stuck with that and I learned more about how it works. So today I'm just going to talk about a few of these text edit, text editors, show you where you can find them, where you can download them, where you can find help on how to use more, how to uh, use them more efficiently. And then uh, we will wrap it up by going to code playgrounds, which are these areas where you can go and experiment with your code uh, before before finalizing it, you know, before using it into a, in a real application. So let's get started. So what is a text editor? This is a tool for editing plain text files. It is one of the most important tools for programmers. We use text editors to write, edit, save our code, and to configure files. There are many different examples of text editors. Just go to your search engine, type in text editor, and you get a whole host of uh, different kinds of text editors. Today, we're going to talk about Atom, Brackets, Sublime Text, and Vim. When I got started, I, s I used Sublime Text for a very long time. And then not too long ago, I last year, I started using Vim. Uh, it's it's hard to get familiar with, but it's it's worth the pain. It's worth all the challenges that you go through to learn Vim. Once you know it, it's uh, it's a really it can be a really good tool. It is my favorite uh, text editor, really. So let's go and see where we can find Atom. So let's say you want to use Atom as your text editor, or you want to experiment with it. This is a free text editor. Uh, you just go to the download section here, and uh, you can take it from there. It's pretty uh, straightforward, self-explanatory. The next one you can try is brackets. There's the download button right there. Can't miss it. And then uh, sublime text. Finally, there's uh, Vim, which you might already have if you're on a Unix-based machine or on a Mac. And then that's it for the text editor. Now, the last two are, are just pl are code playgrounds. So to get to this uh, code playgrounds, uh, you can just go to one example is codepen.io. Click on the dashboard. And then uh, choose one of the one of the templates they have here. I'm just going to just select the one that says uh, Jasmine here, Jasmine Starter. See? So I'm just going to click on that. You see, uh, now I have place to write my HTML, hypertext markup language, the cascading style sheets, CSS, and JS, which is JavaScript. Let's just start off first with the HTML and CSS. And so let me go right uh, there. I'm just going to clean this up. There we go. Then we go into put in a level one heading. So a level one heading is just H1 and hit tab and then say this is a heading okay you see there's the feedback we get it right away now let's add some color to that h1 we just say color in the css and then let's do blue see this color changes down here as soon as i have the semicolon in there so there's the blue color there. We can even change that to red. There we go. This is a good place to come to if you are going through a tutorial or you're trying to experiment with something you want. You're not quite sure how your code is going to be looking like. Uh, you can come into a place like this and play around with your code. Uh, another another site that does the same thing is JS Bin. These are not the only ones. There are many of them. I'm just showing uh, two of them. Now I'm going to close them because we are done talking about them. Uh, the next thing we want to talk about, I think we're done with all of this. 
The next thing we're going to talk about are the actual text editors. So we talked about Atom. Atom. So Atom, for more help on it, just go to help, documentation. I would encourage you to just go through the documentation if you want to be really good at using this tool. It's a, it, 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 it is a good tool to learn how to use. It's your text editor. You're going to be using it all the time to write your code to, to, build, to build your applications. So this is where you would go for Atom. And they're pretty uh, set up in the same uh, similar way. So next we're going to check out brackets. Again, to the far right is help. Go to how to use brackets. They'll fire up their website. And then you can read about how to best use it. Uh, get familiar, get very familiar with one of these. Try them all out and then choose one that you want to get familiar with. And uh, it'll, it'll do you well. And then next one is Sublime Text. I don't think we've checked that one out yet. So Sublime Text, this is what it looks like. Again, same thing, help, documentation. So the, the, what they call their help area, the place where the actual help is can differ. So this one says documentation. So we click on that. Uh, but I think you get the idea. And this is where you'll get more information on uh, how to use the text editor. And they are really not complicated at all. Uh, you can even just go straight to the editor and start playing around with it. And uh, I'm sure you can you can figure it out. So let's close this. Let's close that. Let's close that. And then finally, we talked about Vim. So let's see what Vim looks like. So I just, I'm in my uh, terminal here. I'm just going to type in Vim. This will fire up my project in Vim. So in a few seconds here, we should have, there we go. So I'm going to close one of these windows on the left because I don't, we don't need it. Okay. And then to get help with Vim, you just type in help, but you have to put in the semicolon first. So, so I mean, uh, it's a column, not a semicolon. So you have to put in the column at the bottom there, right below the normal, on the bottom left. Look uh, very carefully, it might be hard to miss. There we go, and then we say help. Then type in what we want. You saw me using Q, so you might wanna know what is Q. So you just say help, Q. Then this will tell you what Q does. You see it opens up another window at the top there, and it talks about uh, Q stops recording you see q stops recording and then what q is it actually stands for quit and you'll quit the current window okay so if you type in quit it stands for uh, quit the current window and uh, quit vim if this is the last window if you want to quit all the windows you hit qa but it's you have to do the colon QA quit all the A stands for all all right so we're gonna quit all of these windows now we're out of Vim all right so that's it for this screencast thank you for watching see you next time bye bye